as uh, we get ready to go down onto the grid and get a start for the Aussie racing cars. Uh, looking forward to this. Obviously, Tony Quinn driving car 100. Number 100 of the cars come off the production line, which is uh, very exciting for those boys. Just before we get into the start of this one, as we see Clark Quinn, Tony's son, we have more developments from down there in the pits. And breaking news is that car 22 and James Courtney will now not be taking part in the top 10 shootout. This is absolutely on down wow. there. It's war between Red Bull Racing Australia <laughs> and the Holden Racing Team. No love lost from the very first round of the championship and it's continuing here today on the mountain. But right now it's the Aussie Racing Cars, round five of their championship. Peter Carr, the championship leader on approach to today's racing. Cole Clues and Sam Milton, uh, they're sharing that front row after Sam Milton and Cole Clues have both been right at the front of things so far today. Adam Gowns has been fast as well. He was quick in qualifying. Uh, we've seen him racing in Porsche Carrera Cup so far this year. He's a bit further in the pack, so he'll be one to watch. Same to Trent Young. Brendan Pingle and Darren Chamberlain keep it up for those guys because they're second and third in the championship. Adam Eubergang, the big fella with Maurice Massini, last year's champ, also with a few cars to pass in this one. Massive field here, 39 cars. As the green flag is ready to be waved, here we go. That was Gavin McAlpin taking his place at the rear of the field. Ready for a start, the Aussie Racing Cars. Saturday at Bathurst, and the red light comes on. Clues versus Off we go. Everybody gets a fairly good jump. And it's going to be the right start for the Nippies Right Start car. The leader clearly down towards turn one is Milton. He got a fourth start in the first race. He's backed it up. It's tight down there. That's the AHG car of Clark Quinn fighting for position. We're heading up the long straight now, going up to the mountain. This is basically where you want to set yourself up, get a bit of a toe from someone, and hopefully get up the inside. This is Clark Quinn. We're used to seeing him racing in GT cars. And a move over to the right-hand side as Grant Denyer takes second position away. He's shown some good speed so far this weekend. Check out the nice Camaro floating around in there. That's actually Phil Ward, the man who introduced this category to the country as we go three wide, if you don't mind. <laughs> three wide at turn two, and it's been action-packed there all day long. This is a handy little lead so far for Sam Milton. Now, these cars so far today have displayed some incredible slipstreaming down Conrod. <laughs> this kind of proximity, Peter Carr on the inside there, the championship leader just getting that move done nicely. We're following him around at the moment as we approach Reed Park. Tony Quinn, series owner, he's also in a brand new car this weekend. It's a Mustang. I wonder if there's anything in that, Mustangs and Camaros <laughs> out at Bathurst. And well, this is the tricky part. And down the inside at the grade, that's uh, particularly, this is one of the spots on the track that you really want to be careful passing, but these cars are a little bit thinner so they can get through quite easily. <laughs> Tyler Greenberry getting a little bit squirrely across the top of the mountain. Now we go down into Skyline and we plunge down the hill. Oh, oh, getting it all up wow. top. I think that was Trent Young getting his hands busy in there. He's following Clark Quinn down through the dipper. And these cars are just skating around everywhere on the road, but the boys seem to have it under control. It's come down into Forest Elbow now. Up the inside. That's Trent Young making the move stick on the AHG car. And Clark Quinn and he might take his father too. So he gets a fairly good run onto the big straight. But this Mustang's been a bullet in a straight line. Hasn't quite had the parody testing. There's that word parody. <laughs> that we don't want to bring that up. <laughs> 2014. Like the other cars, here's the slip streaming that and we're talking about. This is absolutely under attack now down the straight. <laughs> <laughs> too wide. There's James Abella. Still in high school, but that's okay. You can go racing in Aussie racing cars. The Camaro late under brakes. Oh, getting it all locked up. His clues, a former series champion, and he holds on to third. Plenty of passing going on down into the chase. Down past the Cooper's Cloud Nine bar. Two stories, the party on wheels down there. And now we see Grant Denyer up the inside. And a change for the lead at the last corner. He just gets that car stopped. Grant has plenty of experience around the mountain. I actually drove with him a few years ago in the great race, so he knows his way around this track. The only man who makes these cars seem normal in size. <laughs> is Denyer, is he hard on the brakes down there towards turn one? And this is going to be interesting up the hill. Three or four guys in with a good shot at leading this by the time we get to turn two. Because of those repairs, Michael, to turn two, we're also probably looking at a shortened race distance. So it's one of those classic situations where you're just going to get to the lead and hope that you're there when the checkered flag comes out. And I'm sure the boys are pretty aware of that. They knew the race was probably going to be shortened, so they'll know that the sooner they can get to the front, the better chance they've got. Oh, the Camaro, the Bumblebee lookalike. Still Ward getting a little bit crossed up on the approach down there. There's Adam Gowans up the inside doing a good job to drive through a few cars this weekend after... Spinning out of the lead earlier this week, the Tasmanian started this race in 10th. He's now up to 6th. The K 
cutting has caught out a couple of blokes already this weekend. We saw Jamie Winkup have a crash there, but these boys seem to be getting through all right. As we've got one driving really slow coming out there. We're not sure who that is. I think it might have been Greenbury. He pulled over very quickly over to the left-hand side. We'll see if we can confirm that one for you. As we go over Reed Park on the Fujitsu signage. Riding on board with Tony Quinn. Great part of the track. We can see the crowd getting ready for the shootout this afternoon. It's packed out. It's going to be a fantastic one, this one. McPhillamy. And then that beautiful view as you look out over the New South Wales countryside, but no time to look at the view for Tony Quinn. The Scotsman is banging down the gears. 11,000 RPM. These Yamaha 1300cc engines, he was a little bit late at that right-hander. And they're all going to start stacking up behind him, but he's got his son playing rear gunner for him at the moment. <laughs> Do you reckon they've got any team orders? I don't know. They, uh, they've got a lot of racing <laughs> in the GTs together, and this will be interesting to see how it all works out with the Aussies. This is the battle for second. And Grant seems to have opened up a little bit of a gap over the top of the hill there. Sam Milton and Kyle Clues. They shared the front row together. Now they're fighting for second position. Top speed, fifth gear, sequential gearbox. You shift it with your right hand, which is uh, something unusual to a lot of drivers in Australia. Won't be used to doing that. You shift with your left hand. <laughs> and down into the chase again. One of the best passing opportunities. Oh, they give each other a little bit of room. Oh, and running paddles. To just get together at the exit there of turn 22, 23 corners, such a long lap. This is helping Grant Denyer out. He's going to open up a little bit of a lead. Watch out for Phil Ward in the Camaro. He's going to go late on the brakes of the last corner. Oh, it's tight, but he manages to do well to get that thing pulled up. And now side by side down the straight. The Camaro we know is very quick in a straight line. And this is going to be shortened. We think we're down to the last two laps now as well. So this is going to be very frantic towards the end. And it seems like they can run two by two pretty much every corner on this whole track. So it makes for fantastic racing here. This is that move once again with Clues and Milton. Super slow-mo. The left front points up nicely into the air. You can see these giant helmets sitting in the cars. Oh, that is just leaning on each other. Definitely some contact there. Hard at work to get these things around this track. All 23 corners. And Kyle Clues, the former series champ, wrestles second position away and he's managed to hold on to it. Can he set his sights now on Grant Denyer? That's the question. As Phil Ward's managed to bump the Camaro up into third. He's been very racy today. Looks like a tiny transformer, that thing, this weekend. <laughs> there goes Adam Gowans. P10 and another spot for him at the cutting. He's on a bit of a charge. He'll be one to, uh, to watch at the remainder of these rounds. Another series champion as he made the step up in the Pro-Ams in the Carrera Cup recently. Second last time over the mountain this weekend for the little Aussie racing cars. Camaro's lurking, isn't it, behind Kyle Clues? It seems to have settled down a little bit, but I'm sure once they get word that they're going to have only one more lap next time around, it'll heat right up. <laughs> so Denya through Skyline. Down towards the dipper we go. Oh, Clues steps out of shape, but gathered it nicely. And he's managed to close that gap with a blistering run across the top of the mountain. Just like George Fury did 30 years ago in the top 10 shootout. That must have been very special for you early today, getting a chance to celebrate this in history. Yeah, just being on the same track as George was uh, saying that never envisaged. But um, no, look, it was a great opportunity. The cars look great. Daniel's in a fair bit of trouble here because Clues is on his tail. Daniel trying to break that slipstream by using a bit of racecraft, swerving left and right. But Clues has got him well and truly in his sights. He'll close that gap a bit more. And then right in behind them is coming Phil Ward. Here comes the Camaro at the inside through the kink. Clues did a good job to see him there and give him some room. Laid on the brakes. Clues has him locked up. Oh, he's just about into the side of Denya. He's very good on the brakes, Kyle Clues. He's done a good job there to not turn him around there. Where has Adam Gowans come from? He's caught all three of these guys. He's going to try and make it three wide for the second last corner. On the approach to the last lap, Clues barely saw him coming, and he'll take two of them. That is a fantastic move. As we Bill see Ward the does a switch back. On the he last seems lap. to be right in the thick of it today. Here comes Milton. Final lap now, confirmed. Daniel with a bit of a lead. And this battle for second now includes, I think, seven or eight cars as Clues locks him up. And he'll lose his spot to Trent Young. Busy, busy, busy. Well, he's dropped a few spots only in a couple of corners. Do not write Adam Gowans off for a, a bit of a win here because we've got three wide now with the Mustang on the left-hand side. Chamberlain's involved with this one as well. Cole Clues still in the thick of it. And Phil Ward on the Nippy's right start, rear end. It's a little bit loose behind Sam Milton. Up the inside, late move, that one. 
very deep, but he's made it stick quite well there. So many cars in such a tiny space of the mountain, and Trent Young's gone flying through the field. Great drive from him. He started out of position 20, and here he is fighting with the leaders. That is amazing drive. He's in the multicoloured blue, green, and yellow car. Listen, Ultima, that's a good sign for the Nissan's later. <laughs> We're just set to jet for tomorrow, mate. Don't worry about us. <laughs> so there's the Quinn Mustang, the 100th ever Aussie racing car built. And that's celebrating number 100. Number 101 is the yellow Camaro. Wouldn't mind seeing these cars in the bigger form racing around the mountain one day. They do look special. Gowans needs to get a really good run across the mountain here. Can he chase down Grand Denya and get in the slipstream down Conrod Strait? That's the big question. Trent Young's eyeing off position inside the top three, which will mean he's passed 17 cars if he can complete that. That's a pretty epic drive to go chasing his way that far up the field. And this is going to be their last opportunity before they hit the straight down oh. into Horace Elbo down the inside. He just threw that in there and he's managed to weave his way through 17 cars. Very impressive, Trent Young. But the question is now, is Gowans close enough to Denya? Do you reckon he can close the gap with only three or four corners to go? I'll tell you what, the slipstream's going to pull him right up to the back of Grant, but uh, I think Grant might be safe there, mate. Bit of bump drafting. Talladega style as Phil Ward is right up the back and smoke coming from Trent Young's car, probably because he had the Camaro badge right up behind him, the bow tie looking very menacing back there in third, and more smoke for Phil Ward. Oh, look at this, Gowans has got himself in the perfect position. He's driven his way up from 10th, last corner, last chance. Can he manage to find it up the inside? He has a look. He's gonna go oh. extremely late at the last corner, and he will just sneak up inside Grant Denyer's car, thing. and I think he's gonna get there. Maybe yes! He wins it by 36 thousandths of a second as the rest of the guys come flying over. I hope they see the car that's pulled over on the left. Amazing drive. That was a absolute last minute dash for the dash for the line. Well done. And that was Peter Carr stopped on the front straight. So the championship leader has pulled over at the end of the race. And Adam Gowans with an incredible drive from 10th to 1st. And that last lap move to deny Denya. Trent Young from 20th to 3rd. Phil Ward showing the new cars have some speed. Tony Quinn in there in 6th. And Kyle Clues started off the front row, got relegated all the way back to 7th. That was an extremely exciting race. Goodness me. We'll have a, have a breather here at the mountain. We're going to go off to an ad break, and on the other side of this, we're going to let the Utes out across the mountain.